Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Peace unto you in the name of Jesus. The peace of God that passes all understanding fills your heart, fills your home in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. You are welcome to Healing Glow today. It's July the 9th, year 2021, and it's a Friday. Friday is our Thanksgiving and Testimony Friday. Um, we share the testimony and the Lord also gives us the opportunity to partner with him by sowing our seed into the work of God in this ministry. And then we will, of course, go ahead to pray. So today I want to share a testimony that's very in line with our prayer focus. Several years ago, maybe like 20, uh, 20, 21 years ago, you know, I've been hearing people saying God spoke to them, uh, the Holy Spirit said this and that. Then I was in college, 1996, I was in the university. And then I began to commune with God. And I said, I hear these people say that you talk to them. I remember my pastor, one of my pastors then, Pastor K, he always said, the Lord told me, God told me. I said, yes, you talk to him. I believe in my spirit that what he's saying is the truth. I said, but you don't talk to me. You don't speak to me. And I said, I desire to hear you. I desire to understand the way they do. And then I, I just continued to study the Bible. I continued to pray in the Holy Spirit, which was what I knew to do. But in my heart, I was longing for more. And you know what? Suddenly, and I say this before the Lord in all truth, in all truthfulness. Suddenly, I began to understand the scriptures. I mean, the King James Version. Suddenly, I began to understand it. And you know, the Bible says that um, this, the, 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 the law, the letter, the letter kills, but it is the spirit that gives life. Second Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 6 says that the letter kills, but the spirit gives life life. Honestly, it's not just about reading literally what is written on the, on the Bible as the logos, but you need the rema, you need the revealed word, you need the revelation of the word of God um, before you can begin to fully enjoy God. And I'm telling you, once you get to that point, you will find yourself walking with God, hallelujah, in a dimension that is beyond your imagination. It's just so sad these days that when you hear testimonies, most of the time in most of the churches is I got a car, I got a house, I, you know, the, which, which is good. All those things are good, but they are extras. The main thing is the kingdom of God and his righteousness, which you cannot access except you have your understanding unlocked in the word of God, then you can begin to enjoy everything that God has made available. Hallelujah. I want you to thank God because God does not change. He brought me into the revelation of the word. And today, for as many as desire a higher walk with God, you are entering into it by his spirit in the name of Jesus. As we pray, I'm going to lead you in prayers shortly. As we pray, just in your heart, receive that understanding. Receive it. It will begin to find expression. The next time you pick up your Bible to read, you will understand because the Holy Spirit will give you understanding. Hallelujah. Let us begin to pray today. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you because of what you have done. Thank you because what you do for one, you do for all. Because the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Thank you, Father, for supernatural understanding of the word. In the name of the Lord Jesus. 
huga nga dika tayaga diria e kasoto mbrehilia marakuta legendo paroto liya zata let there be supernatural unlocking of the understanding of everyone under the sound of my voice in the name of the Lord Jesus you begin to receive the revelation of the scriptures like never before in the name of the Lord Jesus ye kato baraga zata ya Mareko shita kariha, marezoto liga da kata yegede ya, marizata ya gazata ya, mareko shate kilebra gozoto liya, egando bralu haza kata ya gadika ta ya gede de de bralu huza ta, e kato bariha shate te 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 ya, embra kuri haba wasata. Decree and declare, I receive supernatural understanding of the word of God from this minute onwards in the name of Jesus e kato baro hozata mare gedekete agadubalaha jatekete ya igadobra lo hozato breketebra lo hozato bragabihaza danta ya zata gandeketo hia mambra kuzata anga to kambroliha ajekete kete igadubaru hozata mare ketelia igandobra lo hoza atakata higa doto yika zatayaga mare koshita li handoria Embra kuliga zake tahia. Ega dom u shata di haraga hazata iya hia. Your understanding is being opened. There is a floodgate that was just released right now. Mariso toli ya riga zate telia. Embra kuli hala shata liya. Iga duriha azanta. You come into revelation. You come into understanding. In the name of Jesus. Ega dori haba soto libraga. You will no longer grow in dark you will know what to do in the name of Jesus as you read the word of God the, your understanding is enlightened your heart is opened you come into revelation and you begin to walk on water that's what happened to Peter he said if it be you Lord bid me come and master said come at that point Peter entered into revelation Peter entered into the supernatural and then he began to walk on water for you to know that it wasn't it was it was on grace because of the revealed word of god that he was walking on water when he shifted his gaze he began to drown and then he cried out and then the lord reached out his hand and saved him so it is not about you it is about the revelation it's about the understanding when you walk on revelation of the scriptures you literally walk on water and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Give God praise and bless his holy name. Thank God for your healing, for your deliverance. Thank God for your wealth. Thank God for your favors. Thank God for the lines that are falling unto you in pleasant places. Give God praise and bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. Tomorrow is Saturday. On Saturdays, we pray for the children. So come expectant, come ready to pray for yourself and more, more importantly, for the children. Every Saturday, we deliberately pray for the children all over the world. See you again tomorrow. Blessings.